Imagine a computer so powerful that it can perform one quintillion calculations per second. A computer that can process more data than the entire human population combined. A computer that can create a digital duplicate human brain and use it to drive a car autonomously. This is not science fiction. This is Dojo, Tesla's new supercomputer. Watch this video till the end to find out what this all means for the future of AI and humanity. Tesla is not just a car company, it is also an AI company that's developing its own fully self-driving system based on computer vision. Computer vision is the ability of machines to see and understand the world through images and videos. To achieve this ambitious goal, Tesla needs a massive amount of computing power to train its neural networks with real-world data from millions of cameras on its vehicles. Neural networks are mathematical models that mimic the structure and function of biological brains. They learn from data by adjusting their parameters to minimize errors and maximize accuracy. Training neural networks is like teaching a child how to do something, except that you need a lot more data and patience. For this reason, Tesla has built Dojo, a supercomputer specifically designed to train complex AI models. But what is Dojo going to do? Why does Tesla need such a ridiculously powerful computer? The answer is simple, to train its fully self-driving neural network. This network is intended to help autopilot computers in Tesla cars understand roads and drive safely without human intervention. To do this, the network needs to learn from vast amounts of video data captured by the vehicle's cameras in real-life driving situations. The video data needs to be labeled or tagged with information such as objects, depth, velocity, and actions. This process helps the network recognize patterns and make associations. For example, if the network sees a red octagonal sign with white letters that say stop, it needs to know that it means stop and act accordingly. Dojo is different from conventional supercomputers in many ways. It uses a system on the chip architecture, meaning that each chip contains all the components of a complete computer, such as memory, processing, and communication. These chips are then fused into tiles, which are integrated into racks, cabinets, and clusters. This allows for a high level of efficiency, scalability, and performance. Dojo also differs from other AI training systems. It does not use any GPUs, which are commonly throughout AI industry for this purpose. Instead, Dojo uses custom chips optimized for computer vision, video processing, and recognition. These chips can handle large amounts of data with minimal power or cooling requirements and have a unique feature called programmable float point precision, allowing them to adjust the level of accuracy and speed of their calculations depending on the task. According to Tesla, Dojo went into production in July 2023 and is expected to reach over 30 exaflops of computing by February 2024, making it one of the world's five most powerful supercomputers. By October 2024, Tesla plans to increase its computing power to 100 exaflops, equivalent to 300,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs. To put this into further perspective, 100 exaflops is more than twice the combined computing power of the top 500 supercomputers in the world. It is also more than 10 times the estimated computer power of the human brain and more than enough to run many cyberpunk games on ultra settings. In the past, Tesla has used humans to do the labeling job for its datasets, but this is not sustainable as the dataset grows larger and more complex. That's why Tesla needs Dojo to automate this process and speed up the training cycle. Dojo can label video data faster and more accurately than humans using advanced techniques such as self-supervised learning, active learning, and transfer learning. Self-supervised learning is a method of learning from unlabeled data by generating labels from the data itself. For example, Dojo can use the temporal coherence of video frames to infer the motion and depth of objects. On the other hand, active learning is a method of selecting the most informative data samples for labeling based on the uncertainty or difficulty of the model. For example, Dojo can prioritize labeling data that contains rare or ambiguous situations, such as snow or construction zones. And the third technique, transfer learning, is a method of applying the knowledge learned from one domain to another domain. For example, Dojo can use the knowledge learned from driving in the U.S. to driving in other countries with some adaptations. With Dojo, Tesla hopes to create a feedback loop between its vehicles and its data center. The cars will send their video data to Dojo for training and improvement. Dojo will then send back updated neural network models to the vehicles for testing and validation. This way, Tesla can continuously improve its self-driving system with real-world data and experience. But that's not all. Dojo is also part of Tesla's bigger vision for artificial intelligence. 
Tesla plans to use it not only for its self-driving cars, but also for its humanoid robots, which it announced at its AI Day event in 2022. These robots are designed to perform tasks that are boring, repetitive, or dangerous for humans. To make these robots intelligent and capable, Tesla will use the same neural network architecture it uses for its self-driving cars. This means that Dojo will also train these robots with video data from their cameras and sensors. By doing this, Tesla hopes to generate a general-purpose AI system that can handle a variety of tasks and scenarios. But remember that Dojo is not only a tool for Tesla's products, it's also a potential source of income for the company. Tesla could offer its computing power to other companies and researchers who need AI training services, similar to how AWS rents out its cloud computing infrastructure to millions of customers. This could create a new revenue stream for Tesla, diversifying its income sources and reducing its dependencies on vehicle sales. It could also benefit from the network effects and economies of scale that come from having a large customer base and a powerful computing platform. An example of how Dojo could help grow Elon Musk's business is by providing AI training services to Neuralink, another company founded by Musk that aims to create brain-computer interfaces. Neuralink needs to train its neural network to decode neural signals from implanted electrodes and translate them into commands for computers or devices. This requires a lot of computing power and data processing. Neuralink could use Dojo to speed up its training process and improve its accuracy. It could also share data with Tesla, which could use it to enhance its self-driving cars or humanoid robots. Another example is SpaceX, which could use Dojo to provide AI training services for controlling its rockets, satellites, and starships. This would require significant computing power and data processing, and SpaceX could leverage Dojo to improve the reliability of its systems. What does all this mean for the future of AI and humanity? Will Dojo enable Tesla to create super-intelligent machines that surpass human abilities? Will these machines be friendly or hostile to humans? Will Tesla share its Dojo computing power with other researchers and developers who want to advance AI for good? These are some of the questions that arise as Tesla unveils its new supercomputer, and Elon Musk has been vocal about his views on AI and its potential risks and benefits for humanity. He has warned that AI could pose an existential threat to humans if it becomes smarter and more powerful than us. With Dojo, Tesla aims to create an AI system that would help achieve their goals at a much faster pace. Do you think Tesla's plan of accelerating its innovation would actually work? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again next week with another amazing video.